Calais, Wikipedia article audio. 1. French land register data, which excludes lakes, ponds, glaciers 1 km 2 and river estuaries. Calais, Picard, Cala copyright S, Dutch. Cales is a town and major ferry port in northern France in the department of Pas-de-Calais, of which it is a sub-prefecture. Although Calais is by far the largest city in Pas-de-Calais, the department's prefecture is its third largest city of Arras. The population of the metropolitan area at the 2010 census was 126,395. Calais overlooks the Strait of Dover, the narrowest point in the English Channel, which is only 34 kilometers wide here, and is the closest French town to England. The White Cliffs of Dover can easily be seen on a clear day from Calais. Calais is a major port for ferries between France and England, and since 1994, the Channel Tunnel has linked nearby Coquelles to Folkestone by rail. History Early History Due to its position, Calais since the Middle Ages has been a major port and a very important centre for transport and trading with England. It was annexed by Edward III of England in 1347 and grew into a thriving centre for wool production. The town came to be called the brightest jewel in the English crown owing to its great importance as the gateway for the tin, lead, lace and wool trades. Calais was a territorial possession of England until its capture by France in 1558. The town was virtually razed to the ground during World War II, when in May 1940, it was a strategic bombing target of the invading German forces who took the town during the Siege of Calais. During World War II, the Germans built massive bunkers along the coast in preparation for launching missiles on England. The old part of the town, Calais proper, is situated on an artificial island surrounded by canals and harbours. The modern part of the town, Saint Pierre, lies to the south and southeast. In the centre of the old town is the Place d'Armes, in which stands the Tour du Guid, or Watch Tower, a structure built in the 13th century, which was used as a lighthouse until 1848 when a new lighthouse was built by the port. Southeast of the place is the Church of Notre Dame, built during the English occupancy of Calais. It is arguably the only church built in the English perpendicular style in all of France. In this church former French President Charles de Gaulle married his wife Yvonne Vendroux. South of the place and opposite the Parc Saint-Pierre is the Hôtel de Ville, and the Belfry from the 16th and early 17th centuries. Today, Calais is visited by more than 10 million annually. Aside from being a key transport hub, Calais is also a notable fishing port and a centre for fish marketing, and some 3,000 people are still employed in the lace industry for which the town is also famed. Although the early history of habitation in the area is limited, the Romans called the settlement Calidum. Julius Caesar mustered 800 to 1,000 sailing boats, five legions, and some 2,000 horses at Calais due to its strategic position to attack Britannia. At some time prior to the 10th century, it would have been a Flemish-speaking fishing village on a sandy beach backed by pebbles and a creek, with a natural harbour located at the western edge of the early medieval estuary of the River Aa. As the pebble and sand ridge extended eastward from Calais, the haven behind it developed into Fen, as the estuary progressively filled with silt and peat. Subsequently, canals were cut between St. Omer, the trading centre formerly at the head of the estuary, and three places to the west, centre and east on the newly formed coast, respectively Calais, Gravelines and Dunkirk. 
Calais was improved by the Count of Flanders in 997 and fortified by the Count of Boulogne in 1224. The first document mentioning the existence of this community is the town charter granted by Matthew Dalsis in 1181 to Gerard de Gulders, Count of Boulogne. Calais thus became part of the County of Boulogne. In 1189, Richard the Lionheart is documented to have landed at Calais on his journey to the Third Crusade. English wool trade interests and King Edward III's claims to be heir to the Kingdom of France led to the Battle of Cra Copyright Sci between England and France in 1346, followed by Edward's siege and capture of Calais in 1347. Angered, the English king demanded reprisals against the town's citizens for holding out for so long and ordered that the town's population be killed en masse. He agreed, however, to spare them, on condition that six of the principal citizens would come to him, bareheaded and barefooted and with ropes around their necks, and give themselves up to death. On their arrival he ordered their execution, but pardoned them when his queen, Philippa of Hainault, begged him to spare their lives. This event is commemorated in the Burgers of Calais, one of the most famous sculptures by Auguste Rodin, erected in the city in 1895. Though sparing the lives of the delegation members, King Edward drove out most of the French inhabitants, and settled the town with English. The Municipal Charter of Calais, previously granted by the Countess of Artois, was reconfirmed by Edward that year. 140h a euro 15th century a euro the Pale of Calais In 1360 the Treaty of Bra copyright Tigny assigned Gua registered trademark Ness, Mark and Calaza Euro collectively the Pale of Calais a Euro to English rule in perpetuity, but this assignment was informally and only partially implemented. On February 9, 1363 the town was made a staple port. It had by 1372 become a parliamentary borough sending burgesses to the House of Commons of the Parliament of England. It remained part of the Diocese of Tha Copyright Rowan from 1379, keeping an ecclesiastical tie with France. The town came to be called the brightest jewel in the English crown owing to its great importance as the gateway for the tin, lead, cloth and wool trades. Its customs revenues amounted at times to a third of the English government's revenue, with wool being the most important element by far. Of its population of about 12,000 people, as many as 5,400 were recorded as having been connected with the wool trade. The governorship or captaincy of Calais was a lucrative and highly prized public office, the famous Dick Whittington was simultaneously Lord Mayor of the City of London and Mayor of the Staple in 1407. 16th Century Calais was regarded for many years as being an integral part of the Kingdom of England, with its representatives sitting in the English Parliament. The continued English hold on Calais however depended on expensively maintained fortifications, as the town lacked any natural defences. Maintaining Calais was a costly business that was frequently tested by the forces of France and the Duchy of Burgundy with the Franco-Burgundian border running nearby. The British historian Geoffrey Elton once remarked Calais a euro expensive and useless a euro was better lost than kept. The duration of the English hold over Calais was, to a large extent, the result of the feud between Burgundy and France, under which both sides coveted the town but preferred to see it in the hands of the English rather than their domestic rivals. 
the stalemate was broken by the victory of the French crown over Burgundy following Joan of Arc's final battle in the Siege of Compiègne in 1430, and the later incorporation of the duchy into France. In 1532, English King Henry VIII visited Calais and his men calculated that the town had about 2,400 beds and stabling to keep some 2,000 horses. In September 1552, the English adventurer Thomas Stukeley, who had been for some time in the French service, betrayed to the authorities in London some French plans for the capture of Calais, to be followed by a descent upon England. Stukeley himself might have been the author of these plans. On January 7, 1558, King Henry II of France sent forces led by Francis, Duke of Guise, who laid siege to Calais. When the French attacked, they were able to surprise the English at the critical strong point of Fort Nulay and the Sluice Gates, which could have flooded the attackers, remained unopened. The loss was regarded by Queen Mary I of England as a dreadful misfortune. When she heard the news, she reportedly said, When I am dead and opened, you shall find Philip and Calais lying in my heart. The region around Calais, then known as the Cala Isis, was renamed the Pays Reconquise in commemoration of its recovery by the French. Use of the term is reminiscent of the Spanish Reconquista, with which the French were certainly familiar a euro and, since it occurred in the context of a war with Spain, might have been intended as a deliberate snub. 17th Century to World War I The town was captured by the Spanish on April 24, 1596 in an invasion mounted from the nearby Spanish Netherlands by Archduke Albert of Austria, but it was returned to France under the Treaty of Vervins in May 1598. World War II Calais remained an important maritime city and smuggling centre throughout the 17th century. However, during the next century the port of Calais began to stagnate gradually, as the nearby ports of Boulogne and Dunkirk began to rise and compete. 21st century A Euro Migration Issues The French Revolution at the end of the 18th century did not disturb Calais and no executions took place. In 1805, Calais hosted part of Napoleon's army and invasion fleet for several months before his aborted invasion of Britain. From October to December 1818, the British Army used Calais as their departing port to return home after occupying post-Waterloo France. General Murray appointed Sir Manley Power to oversee the evacuation of British troops from France. Cordial relations had been restored by that time and on December 3 the mayor of Calais wrote a letter to Power to express thanks for his considerate treatment of the French and of the town of Calais during the embarkation. Geography and Climate The British Expeditionary Force or BEF arrived in Calais on its way to the nearby front line cutting through Nord-Pas-de-Calais and Flanders. Calais was a key port for the supply of arms and reinforcements to the Western Front. In the 1930s, the town was known for being a politically socialist stronghold. Calais was virtually razed to the ground during World War II. In May 1940, it was a key objective of the invading German forces and became the scene of a last-ditch defense a euro the siege of Calais a euro which diverted a sizable amount of German forces for several days immediately prior to the Battle of Dunkirk. 3,000 British and 800 French troops, assisted by Royal Navy warships, held out from 22 to May 27, 1940 against the 10th Panzer Division. The town was flattened by artillery and precision dive bombing and only 30 of the 3,800 strong defending force were evacuated before the town fell. This may have helped Operation Dynamo, 
the evacuation of Allied forces at Dunkirk, as 10th Panzer would have been involved on the Dunkirk perimeter had it not been busy at Calais. Between May 26 and June 4, 1940, some 330,000 Allied troops escaped from the Germans at Dunkirk. During the ensuing German occupation, it became the command post for German forces in the Pas de Calais Flanders region and was very heavily fortified, as it was generally believed by the Germans that the Allies would invade at that point. It was also used as a launch site for V 1 flying bombs and for much of the war, the Germans used the region as the site for railway guns used to bombard the southeastern corner of England. In 1943 they built massive bunkers along the coast in preparation for launching missiles on the southeast of England. Despite heavy preparations for defence against an amphibious assault, the Allied invasion took place well to the west in Normandy on D-Day. Calais was very heavily bombed and shelled in a successful effort to disrupt German communications and persuade them that the Allies would target the Pas de Calais for invasion. The town, by then largely in ruins, was liberated by General Daniel Spry's 3rd Canadian Infantry Division between September 25 and October 1, 1944. On February 27, 1945 Calais suffered a last bombing raid a Euro this time by British bombers who mistook the town for Dunkirk, which was at that time still occupied by German forces. After the war there was little rebuilding of the historic city and most buildings were modern ones. Since 1999 or earlier, an increasingly large number of migrants and refugees started to arrive in the vicinity of Calais, living in the Calais jungle, the nickname given to a series of makeshift camps. The people lived there while they attempted to enter the United Kingdom by stowing away on lorries, ferries, cars, or trains traveling through the port of Calais or the Eurotunnel Calais Terminal. The people were a mix of refugees, asylum seekers, and economic migrants from Darfur, Afghanistan, Syria, Iraq, Eritrea and other troubled areas of the world. The Calais migrant crisis led to escalating tension between the UK and France in the summer of 2015. The UK blamed France for not doing enough to stop migrants from entering the tunnel or making attempts to scale fences built along the border. The British Prime Minister David Cameron released a statement saying that illegal immigrants would be removed from the UK even if they reached the island. To discourage migrants and refugees from jumping on train shuttles at Calais, the UK government supplied fencing to be installed in the Eurotunnel where the vehicles are loaded onto train shuttles in Calais. Demographics On October 26, 2016, French authorities announced that the camp had been cleared. Economy Calais is located on the Pas de Calais, which marks the boundary between the English Channel and North Sea and located at the opposite end of the Channel Tunnel, 34 kilometers from Dover. On a clear day the white cliffs of Dover can be viewed across the Channel. Aside from being an important port and boarding point between France and England, it is at the nucleus of many major railway and highway networks and connected by road to Arras, Lens, BA Copyright Thune and ST. Omer. Dunkirk is located about 47 km by road to the east. Calais is located 288 km north by road from the French capital of Paris, roughly a 3 hour 15 minute journey. The commune of Calais is bordered by the English Channel to the north, Sangat and Coquelles to the west, Caulogny to the south and Marc to the east. The core area of the city is divided into the old town area within the old city walls, and the younger suburbs of St. Pierre, which are connected by a boulevard.
Calais is part of the CATEDO Pale, a cliff-lined section of northern French coast that parallels the White Cliffs on the British coast and is part of the same geological formation. It is known for its scenic cliffs such as Cape Blanc-Nez and Cape Gris-Nez and for its wide area of dunes. Many artists have been inspired by its landscapes, among them the composer Henri Dutillerux, the writers Victor Hugo and Charles Dickens, and the painters J. M. W. Turner, Carolus Duran, Maurice Boitel, and Yuga N. E. Boudin. It was the painter A. Per Thousand Dward La Copyright V.A.K. who coined the name for this area in 1911 to describe the distinctive quality of its light. The climate is temperate oceanic in Calais. Temperature ranges are moderate and the winters are mild with unstable weather. It rains on average about 700 to 800 mm per year. The commune of Calais is divided into 13 quartiers. Notable landmarks Place d'Armes Hotel de Ville A per thousand glise Notre Dame Changes in the number of inhabitants is known throughout the population censuses conducted since 1793 in Calais. Note the massive growth in population from 13,529 in 1,881 to 58,969 in 1,886, a growth of 335.9%, this is because the city of Saint-Pierre merged with Calais in 1,885. According to the census in C of 2008, Calais has 74,817 people. The town's population ranks 60th nationally, down from 53rd in 1999. The city's proximity to England has made it a major port for centuries. It is the principal ferry crossing point between England and France, with the vast majority of channel crossings being made between Dover and Calais. Companies operating from Calais include Sea France, DFDS Seaways, and PNO Ferries. The French end of the Channel Tunnel is situated in the vicinity of Calais, in Coquelles some four miles to the west of the town. Calais possesses direct rail links to Paris, 148 miles to the south. More than 10 million people visit Calais annually. From medieval times, English companies thrived in Calais. Calais was a particularly important centre in the production and trade of wool and cloth, which outweighed the costs of maintaining the town as part of England. In 1830-some 113 manufacturers were based in Calais and the Saint-Pierre suburbs, the majority of which were English. There are still two major lace factories in Calais with around 700 looms and 3,000 employees. The town exports in the early 20th century were lace, chemicals, paper, wines, especially champagne, spirits, hay, straw, wool, potatoes, woven goods, fruit, glassware, lace and metalware. Principal imports in the early 20th century included cotton and silk goods, coal, iron and steel, petroleum, timber, raw wool, cotton yarn and cork. During the five years 1901 a Euro 1905 the average annual value of exports was a pound 8388,000, of imports a pound 4145,000. As a fishing port, Calais has several notable fishing markets including Leda Copyright Lices de la Mer and Hua Registered Trademark Triari Calesen on the Boulevard Lafayette, the latter of which is noted for its oysters, lobster, and crabs from Brittany. The Emile Fernier E.T. Phil's Market on the Rue Morin sells mainly smoked fish including salmon, trout, herring, and halibut.
Place d'Armes is one of the largest squares in the city of Calais. It adjoins the watchtower, and during medieval times was once the heart of the city. While Calais was a territory of England, it became known as Market Square. Only at the end of English rule did it take the name of Place d'Armes. After the reconquest of Calais in 1558 by Francis, Duke of Guise, Francis II gave Calais the right to hold a fair twice a year on the square, which still exists today, as well as a bustling Wednesday and Saturday market. The town centre, which has seen significant regeneration over the past decade, is dominated by its distinctive town hall at Place du Soldat and Canoe. It was built in the Flemish Renaissance style between 1911 and 1925 to commemorate the unification of the cities of Calais and Saint-Pierre in 1885. A previous town hall had been erected in 1818. One of the most elegant landmarks in the city, its ornate 74-metre-high clock tower and belfry can be seen from out to sea and chimes throughout the day and has been protected by UNESCO since 2005 as part of a series of belfries across the region. The building parts have also been listed as a series of historic monuments by government decree of June 26, 2003, including its roofs and belfry, main hall, glass roof, the staircase, corridor serving the first floor, the rooms on the first floor, the wedding room, the VIP lounge, the lounge of the council and the cabinet room. The hall has stained glass windows and numerous paintings and exquisite décor. It houses police offices. A per thousand Glies Notre Dame is a cathedral which was originally built in the late 13th century and its tower was added in the late 14th or early 15th century. Like the town hall it is one of the city's most prominent landmarks. It was arguably the only church in the English perpendicular style in France. Much of the current 1,400 capacity church dates to 1631 A Euro 1635. It contains elements of Flemish, Gothic, Anglo-Norman, and Tudor architecture. In 1,691, an 1,800 cubic meter cistern was added to the church under orders by Vauban. The church is dedicated to the Virgin and built in the form of a cross, consisting of a nave and four I less a euro the old grand altar dated to 1628 and was built from Carrara marble wrecked on the coast, during its transit from Genoa to Antwerp. It contained 18 figures, the two standing on either side of the altar PC a euro representing St. Louis and Charlemagne. The organ a euro of a deep and mellow tone, and highly ornamented by figures in relief a euro was built at Canterbury sometime around 1700. The pulpit and reading desk, richly sculptured in oak, is another well-executed piece of ecclesiastical workmanship from St. Omer's. The altarpiece, The Assumption, was often attributed to Anthony van Dyck though in reality it is by Van Sulden, whilst the painting over the side altar, believed to be by Peter Paul Rubens. A high and strongly built wall, partaking more of the fortress than a cathedral in its aspect, flanks the building, and protects it from the street where formerly ran the old river, in its course through Calais to the sea. Towers The square Massive Norman Tower has three arched belfry windows on each face, surmounted by corner turrets, and a conically shaped tower of octagonal proportions, topped again by a short steeple. The tower was a main viewing point for the Anglo-French survey which linked the Paris Observatory with the Royal Greenwich Observatory using trigonometry. Cross-channel sightings were made of signal lights at Dover Castle and Fairlight, 
East Sussex. The church was assigned as a historic monument by decree of September 10, 1913, only to have its stained glass smashed during a Zeppelin bombardment on January 15, 1915, falling through the roof. General de Gaulle married Yvonne Vendroux on April 6, 1921 at the cathedral. The building experienced extensive damage during World War II, and was partially rebuilt, although much of the old altar and furnishings were not replaced. The Tour du Guit, situated in Calais Nord on the place's Darms, is one of the few surviving pre-war buildings. Dating from 1229, when Philip I, Count of Boulogne, built the fortifications of Calais, it is one of the oldest monuments of Calais, although the oldest remaining traces date to 1302. It has a height of 35 euro 39 meters. An earthquake in 1580 split the tower in two, and at one time it threatened to collapse completely. The tower was repaired in 1606, and then had the purpose of serving as a hall to accommodate the merchants of Calais. It was damaged in 1658 when a young stable boy set fire to it, while it was temporarily being used as royal stables during a visit of King Louis XIV. It was not repaired for some 30 years. In 1770, a bell identical to the original bell of 1348 was cast. Due to its height, from the late 17th century it became an important watch outpost for the city for centuries until 1905, the last keeper of the tower was forced to leave in 1926. Abraham Chap, installed a telegraph office in the tower in 1816 and operated for 32 years. It was this office which announced the death of Napoleon I to the French public in 1821. It also had the dual function as lighthouse with a rotating beacon fueled by oil from 1818. The lantern was finally replaced by a new lighthouse on October 15, 1848. During the First World War, it served as a military observation post and narrowly missed destruction during World War II. This tower has been classified as a historic monument since November 6, 1931. Forts Museums, theaters, and cultural centers Monuments and memorials The Calais Lighthouse was built in 1848, replacing the old watch tower as the lighthouse of the port. The 55-meter high tower was electrified in 1883 and automated in 1992. The staircase has 271 steps leading up to the lantern. By day it is easily distinguishable from other coastal lighthouses by its white color and black lantern. The lighthouse was classified as a historical monument on November 22, 2010. The Citadel, located on the Avenue Pierre Coubertin, was built between 1560 and 1571 on the site of a former medieval castle which was built in 1229 by Philippe de Huerpril. Its purpose of its construction was to fend off would-be invaders, but it wasn't long until the city was successfully invaded by Archduke Albert of Austria on April 24, 1596. Both Louis XIII and Cardinal Richelieu at one time considered expanding the citadel and Calais into a great walled city for military harbour purposes but the proposals came to nothing. Fort Risban located on the coast on the Avenue Raymond Poincaré copyright at the port entrance, 
was built by the English to prevent supplies reaching Calais by sea during the siege in November 1346 and continued to be occupied by them until 1558 when Calais was restored to France. In 1596, the fort was captured by the Spanish Netherlands until May 1598 when it was returned to the French following the Treaty of Vervins. It was rebuilt in 1640. Vauban, who visited the fort sometime in the 1680s, described it as a home for owls, and place to hold the Sabbath rather than a fortification. During World War II it served as an air raid shelter. It contains the Lancaster Tower, a name often given to the fort itself. Fort Nulay located along the Avenue Roger Salen Gross originally dated to the 12th or 13th century. During the English invasion in 1346, Sluice's gates were added as water defences and a fort was built up around it in 1525 on the principle that the people of the fort could defend the town by flooding it. In April and May 1677, Louis XIV and Vauban visited Calais and ordered a complete rebuilding of Fort Nulay. It was completed in 1679, with the purpose to protect the bridge of Nulay crossing the Hames River. By 1815, the fort had fallen into a ruined state and it wasn't until 1903 that it was sold and improved by its farmer tenants. The fort was briefly the site of a low-key scuffle with Germans in May 1940. Calais contains several museums. These include the Musa Copyright e des Beaux-Arts et de la Dentelle de Calais, Cita Copyright International de la Dentelle et de la Mode de Calais and the Musa Copyright e de la Seconde Guerre Mondiale. Cita Copyright International de la Dent Let de la Mode de Calais is a lace and fashion museum located in an old Bullard factory on the canal side and contains workshops, a library, and a restaurant and regularly puts on fashion shows. The World War II Museum is located at Parc Saint-Pierre opposite the town hall and south of the train station. The building is a former Nazi bunker and wartime military headquarters, built in 1941 by the Tote Organization. The 194-meter-long structure contains 20 rooms with relics and photographs related to World War II, and one room dedicated to World War I. Hotels and Nightclubs Theatres and cultural centres include LETHA Copyright A Cent TRE Municipal, LE Centre Cultural GA Copyright Rard Philippe, LE Conservatoire A Rayonment de Copyright Part Mental, L Auditorium de Dier Lockwood, LA Per Thousand Col d'Ar de Calais, LE Channel. LE China Copyright Ma Alhambra and La Ma Copyright Diathake Municipal. LETHA Copyright A Cent TRE Municipal or Calais Theatre is located on the Boulevard Lafayette and was built in 1903 on a plot of land which was used as a cemetery between 1811 and 1871. The theatre opened in 1905. On the first floor of the FAA 8 are statues which represent the performing arts subjects of poetry, comedy, dance, and music. Directly in front of the town hall is a bronze cast of Les Bourgeois de Calais, a sculpture by Auguste Rodin to commemorate six men who were to have been executed by Edward III in 1347. The cast was erected in 1895, funded by a public grant of 10,000 francs. Rodin intended to evoke the viewer's sympathy by emphasizing the pained expressions of the faces of the six men about to be executed. The Monument des Soft Tours was installed in 1899 on Boulevard des Alia Copyright S and transferred to the Cartier of Courgain in 1960. It is a bronze sculpture, 
attributed to Edward Lormier. The monument Le Pluvia SE is a 620 kg bronze monument built in 1912 by a per thousand mile Oscar Guillaume on the center of the roundabout near the beach of Calais, commemorating the accidental sinking of the submarine Pluvia SE in May 1910, off the beach by the steamer Pa de Calais. Armand Folliares, President of the Republic, and his government came to Calais for a state funeral for its 27 victims. One of these victims, Del Pierre Augusta, drowned at age 21 before the beach at Calais, a dock in the city is named for him. The monument was dedicated on June 22, 1913. Monument Jacquard was erected on the square in 1910, opposite the entrance to the Calais Theatre. It commemorates Joseph Marie Jacquard, popular in Calais because of his contribution to the development of lace through his invention of the Jacquard loom. A tall column in the Courgain area of the city commemorates a visit by Louis XVIII. Parc Richelieu, a garden behind the War Memorial, was built in 1862 on the old city ramparts and redesigned in 1956. It contains a statue designed by Yves de Coa Plagon in 1962, remembering both world wars with an allegorical figure, representing peace, which clutches an olive branch to her breast. Another monument in the Parc Richelieu, Erected on April 23, 1994, marks the approximate site of Emma, Lady Hamilton's last resting place. She died in Calais on January 15, 1815. For many years the most famous hotel in Calais was the Hotel d'Angleterre, often called Dessins or Dessines, after the family which owned it for almost a hundred years. Its popularity increased after Lawrence Stern set the early chapters of his 1768 novel A Sentimental Journey Through France and Italy there. With the arrival of the railway fewer British visitors stopped in Calais and Dessins closed in 1860. Hotel Mouris de Calais is a hotel established in 1771 as L.E. Chariot Royal by the French postmaster, Charles Augustin Mouris, who would later establish the five-star Hotel Mouris, one of Paris' most famous luxury hotels. It was one of the earliest hotels on the continent of Europe to specifically cater for the British elite. The hotel was rebuilt in 1954 a Euro 55. It has 41 en-suite rooms. The main center of night activity in Calais is at the Casino Le Touquet Euro Trademark S on the Rue Royale and at the 555 Club. Every month, Casino Le Touquet hosts a dinner and dance cabaret. The casino features slot machines, blackjack, roulette, and poker facilities. There are several schools in Calais. These include Group Scolaire Coubertin, Église Saint-Pierre, Université du Littoral, Centre Universitaire, like a copyright EHQE Law copyright Onard da Vinci on Rue du Pasteur Martin Luther King, A per Thousand Col d'Ar de Calais on Rue des Superants, and the Centre Scolaire Saint-Pierre en Rue du 4 HAs which provides education in the primary grades, high school, and vocational school. There are at least seven colleges in the city, such as College E. Martin Luther King en Rue Martin Luther King, College E. Nationalisa Copyright Lucien Vedes en Avenue Yervent to Maniance, College E. Les Dentelliers en Rue Gaylard, College Jean Mace on Rue Mara Copyright Chas, College EERA Copyright Public on Place RA Copyright Public, College E Vauban on Rue Orla Copyright Onsville, and College E Priva Copyright Mixed Jean Dark on Rue Champaler. Calais is represented in association football by the Calais RUFC, 
who compete in the Championnat National. The club was founded 1902 as Racing Club de Calais and Indiana 1974 was renamed as Calais Racing Union Football Club. Calais RUFC have a good reputation in French Cup competitions and went as far as the final in the 1999-2000 season, losing out finally to Nantes. Since 2008 they have played at the Stade de la per thousand Pope copyright e, a stadium which holds about 12,000 spectators. The rugby club in Calais is Amicali Rugby Calaisienne. Basketball is popular in Calais with the teams Calais Basket and Cobb Calais as is volleyball with the Lys Calais and Stella Calais teams. There is also the SOC club which caters in a range of sports including athletics, handball and football and yacht club de Calais, a yachting club. Calais also has Les Seagulls, an American football team. Education Sport The Port of Calais was the first cable ship port in Europe and is the fourth largest port in France and the largest for passenger traffic. The port accounts for more than a third of economic activity of the town of Calais. Cargo traffic has tripled over the past two decades. In 2007 more than 41.5 million tons of traffic passed through Calais with some 11.52 million passengers, 1.4 million trucks and trailers, 2.249 million cars and 4,700 crossings a year. On average, ships sail from the port every 30 minutes. A new €400 million Euro project is underway at the port to create a breakwater protecting a pool of 700 metres long, thus allowing virtually all types of ships to stop at Calais. As well as the large port, the town is served by three railway stations, Gare de Calais Fra Copyright Thun, Gare de Calais Ville, and Gare des Fontinets the former being the first stop on mainland Europe of the Eurostar line. Gare de Calaisville is the nearest station to the port with trains to Gare de Boulogneville and either Gare de Lille Flandres or Gare de Lille Europe. Transport Local bus services are provided by STCE. Free car parking facilities are available in front of the Calais ferry terminal and the maximum stay is three days. Calais is served by an airport and an airfield. Calaza Euro Dunkirk Airport is located at Mark, 7 km east-northeast of Calais. St. Ingelvert Airfield is located at St. Ingelvert, 13 km southwest of Calais. C. Rail. Road. Notable people. International relations Twin towns a Euro sister cities Notes Bibliography Calais is twinned with